this kind of suture pad that kind of is supposed to resemble skin. What's up YouTube? So I'm pretty hyped this morning. I have a very exciting day. Um, we have a surgical skills day today. So most of you guys know I'm very interested in the surgery. And so I'm super stoked to just for kind of this formal um, training and just the foundations of, you know, these key surgical skills that we're going to have to know, especially if we want to pursue surgery. Um, so it's around 740 in the morning. So I've already kind of gone through my morning Anki and I've kind of gotten through some of the things that I just need to take care of on my kind of day to day. And um, we have a virtual session in about 20 minutes at 8 in the morning just to kind of go over the instrument use um, and what the instruments are and, you know, the different um, applications that each instrument has. And then later this afternoon, we're broken up into small groups and we're going to be going over some knot tying skills. So um, one of the key benefits of having a super small class size like we have here at Mayo is that we can kind of facilitate these small group experiences, um, you know, getting eight to nine to 10 people um, in a pretty large room isn't, isn't difficult and kind of breaking us up like that because we only have, you know, a little over 50 students um, in our class. And so that's been awesome. And I'm super excited to not only be able to have this virtual session, but to actually be able to go in and have, we're having a fourth year. Um, we may have a few fourth years in there just kind of teaching us the basics of not tying and all of that. And then next week, we're gonna, teach, we're gonna learn the basics of uh, suturing. And so I'm just super excited. This is definitely a highlight of the week and I wanted to be able to bring you guys along for the ride and show you everything. So I'm briefly just gonna review some of the things that we have to kind of go over before we have this instrument session in here in about 20 minutes. Um, and then I will see you guys in a little bit. I also have this suture practice kit here that Madison actually got me for Christmas about a year ago. And almost two years ago, it's almost Christmas already, wow. And um, so it's nice because I have a lot of these surgical instruments already. And so when I'm watching the videos and kind of we're going through it, I can kind of hold the instruments myself and just kind of get a feel of it. Even though at first it's gonna be virtual, we will go into the, into the actual classroom again. But um, just kind of watching these videos and getting prepared, I get to actually kind of, you know, when, I, when a video is teaching me how to hold a surgical instrument, I can pull it out and actually try to practice and make sure it feels comfortable. So this is awesome. Um, I definitely would recommend if you're interested in surgery to picking up one of these surgical practice or suture practice kits. Um, this one is from NISH. It's a suture kit. I'll leave a link in the description below. I'm not sponsored or anything by them, but um, I think it's great. It also comes with this kind of suture pad that kind of is supposed to resemble skin, the blades and all that type of stuff. But I don't know all of that stuff yet, but hopefully I will learn a little more after today. So here, but certainly at times you'll be, you'll be used to um, uh, hold, hold back tissues and and sometimes you hold back organs. And we just finished our surgical instrument session. Um, it was led by two upper year medical students. One is an MD PhD student and another is a fourth year medical student who's going into orthopedics. Um, and so they basically just went through a plethora of just surgical tools that you can see in the OR. Um, as medical students, it's not necessarily our responsibility to know the names of every single instrument out there. Um, you know, there are scrub techs in the OR um, who kind of assume that responsibility. And according to these medical students, they actually may know the names of these tools even better than the surgeons. And the surgeon may ask for a specific tool and he or she may not know exactly what it's called. So they may make hand gestures or something. And um, the scrub tech is going to be equipped to know exactly what they're looking for. But as medical students, if we can start to actually familiarize ourselves with this process and with these, with these tools, we may actually be able to take part in the surgery and just kind of making things easier for the surgeon. And one thing that really stood out to me is that that as medical students, we actually have the opportunity to close at the end of surgery. And a lot of surgeons actually make this the responsibility of the medical student. Um, so for some people that may be extremely nerve wracking, and of course for basically everybody, it probably is gonna be extremely nerve wracking for the first few times, but just being accustomed with using certain tools and in the process of how to close and all those type of things um, is extremely exciting for me to be able to actually take part in a surgery in medical school. Now, I don't know how early I'll experience this. I don't know if this is something that I'll be able to experience in my first two years here, or if this is something um, usually focused on towards third and fourth year medical students since they have a lot more experience. But of course, you guys will obviously be the first people to know. But again, I'm just super excited to actually start to be able to learn certain skills. In medical school and in pre-med, you're basically learning a lot of book knowledge, um, which is extremely important. 
but it's a different kind of learning than actually being able to go in and do something with my hands, you know? And so that's what I'm super hype about. Again, wanting to be a surgeon, that's probably why I'm more excited to learn this way um, than maybe looking at a textbook or something. But I'm gonna make some actual Anki cards um, just for the main tools that they that they talked about and just knowing what they do. And then I'm probably gonna just practice some knot tying um, in preparation for our in-person meeting. And then I'm gonna head off to campus to do this in-person uh, knot tying practice session. So I'm super excited for that. I'm definitely gonna bring you guys along for the ride, but I'm gonna make some Anki cards really quick and I'll see y'all in a little bit. So I just got out of my surgical skills session. It was awesome. You guys saw two of my closest friends, Nathan and Jessica. Um, they've been in my groups for histology and anatomy, and it's always nice to be able to see them. Um, and the surgical skills session was just so fun. It was incredible. Just to kind of not only be around people, but to get insight from some upper year. They were both fourth year medical students, and one of them is applying to orthopedics right now so that was awesome to just hear what his experience is being a medical student and an ortho or um, and being asked to tie knots so that was awesome and while i was there i found out that we actually could get free masks if we stopped by the siebens building one of the buildings on campus so i copped me two free masks y'all one for me at madison madison's got some flowers on it I think mine just says mayo <laughs> but they're nice they're like super soft apparently so that's fire free masks shout out mayo i'm about to head back home um i don't have really anything to do other than kind of finish some of those anki cards that i have um but after i finish those cards i think that's all I, that's all i have to do for the rest of the day so that'll be nice also i think today is like a good example of what a lot of days can look like, especially in the era of COVID for medical school, where you spend the majority of your time looking at a screen and you may end up going to campus for an hour, hour and a half, maybe two hours to do some type of session, whether it be a surgical skill session or a discussion session for a particular course where you're just there for a brief hour, hour and a half and then you're back home. Unless you're shadowing or you're doing some type of project with a faculty member or physician and you have to be here longer. Um, or I know a lot of students also prefer to study on campus. So that's also a case where you can kind of be on campus for a long period of time. But for my personal experience, I come up here quick uh, for an hour, hour and a half for like a meeting or a surgical skill session or a discussion session or something like that. Then I head back home. <laughs> the majority of medical school so far has been virtually through a screen, but these it just makes these kind of experiences that much more meaningful. Oof, all right, y'all. We found the car. I can show you these masks. Let me see. So this is the mask for me. Ooh, these are nice. They are super soft and they kind of just like curve around your face nice. 
Do you guys like this mask? Is it, is it nice? Did you rock it? I like it. This is the one that Madison got. I'm not gonna open it for you guys because I want her to be able to open it, but. Ooh, now we're gonna head home. Um, I hope you all enjoyed this quick day in the life. I know it wasn't as long as some other ones are, but I just wanted to give you a quick insight into what a surgical skills day may look like, um, where we get to actually not only learn book stuff, but actually learn pertinent skills that we'll be able to apply when we're in the operating room. And so for some people, that's heavenly, like for me. Um, <laughs> So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you smash that like button. It really helps promote this channel. If you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe, tap that bell, new videos every week. You're not gonna wanna miss a step in this journey. Of course, until the next one, keep evolving and I'll see you guys soon. Oh, guys, it is hot. It's hot. Global warming's real, y'all. They told me Minnesota wasn't supposed to be like this. Whew. Y'all see those videos over there, right? Y'all might as well go ahead and tap one of those videos over there.